In this video we will talk about high cholesterol, how to reduce high cholesterol naturally. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we upload new videos daily. High cholesterol levels can greatly increase the risk of heart disease including potentially fatal heart attacks. Heart disease can be caused by a number of factors but lowering cholesterol can have many positive effects and reduce risk. High cholesterol causes hardening of the arteries. Blood flow is then reduced to the heart which may result in chest pains or a heart attack. Lowering the possible causes of hardening or blocking the arteries will help maintain a healthy heart. For severely high cholesterol it is recommended to seek consultation with a physician for the best course of treatment. Traditionally, this is treated with prescription medication. However, the majority of people can lower cholesterol naturally without the use of prescription drugs. Natural remedies are abundantly available. With a few changes in eating habits and lifestyle, one can easily lower cholesterol. Eating foods that are low in fat will help as well as avoiding those with high fat content, especially foods containing trans fat. Spreads such as butter and margarine have high levels of trans fat. Packaged foods and frozen foods generally contain high levels also. Potato chips, crackers, baked goods and fast foods are all types to avoid. Instead concentrate on foods that are low in fat and high in fiber. Foods such as fresh fruits and vegetables, fish, and garlic are great to use in your daily diet. Lifestyle changes are important if you are not leading a fairly healthy life. Smoking can increase the chances of having high cholesterol. Quitting not only will help this but will also reduce several other medical risks. Regular exercise will help promote a healthy heart. Partake in some form of aerobic exercise several times each week. Vitamin E may help reduce fatty formations on arteries. Artichoke leaf extract helps produce bile while assisting in eliminating cholesterol from the body. Chromium is a proven method of maintaining correct blood sugar levels, which will help control cholesterol. Niacin in high doses has shown benefits for reducing cholesterol. However, if taking other medications, consult a physician as niacin can react adversely to other medications. High cholesterol is a condition that affects many people throughout the world. It can increase chances of heart disease and potentially shorten life. Lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking, eating healthy and exercising can reduce these risks significantly. Adding supplements can also help reduce cholesterol levels. Although the risks of high cholesterol are serious, it is easily controlled. Natural remedies for high cholesterol. Guggle. Guggle, the gum resin from the mukul myrrh tree, when compared to the drug clofibrate in clinical trials, the average fall in serum cholesterol was slightly greater in the guggle group. Polycosinol. Patients who had been given polycosinol for a period of 12 weeks showed a 25% reduction in LDL cholesterol, a 17% reduction in total cholesterol, and a 28% increase in HDL cholesterol. Niacin. Niacin or vitamin B3 is the most common treatment for normalizing the blood lipid levels. From various trials conducted consumption of the drug niacin increased HDL, good cholesterol, by 30% or more while reducing total cholesterol by 10-25% and triglycerides by as much as 50%. Circumin. 500 mg of circumin for 7 days at a trial shows a 29% increase in good cholesterol, HDL, and a reduction of 11.6% total cholesterol. 
Lipid peroxidation was also reduced by 33%. Chromium, polynicotinium. Chromium supplements increased HDL cholesterol levels by an average of nearly 6 points, a 16% increase. No side effects were observed. Calcium citrate. In randomized controlled trial calcium citrate was shown to increase HDL levels. Taking daily lowers the damaging component of blood cholesterol and increases the protective cholesterol HDL. Astragalus. Astragalus is an herb used to support the immune system in traditional Chinese medicine. It has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. It's considered to be an adaptogen. This means it's believed to protect the body against various stresses. Hawthorn. Hawthorn is a shrub related to the rose. Its berries, leaves, and flowers have been used for heart problems. Flaxseed. Flaxseed comes from the flax plant. Both flaxseed and flaxseed oil contain high levels of alpha-linolenic acid ALA. This is an omega-3 fatty acid that may help lower your risk of heart disease. Fish with omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are also found in fish and fish oils. Salmon, tuna, lake trout, herring, sardines, and other fatty fish are especially rich sources. Garlic. Garlic is an edible bulb that's been used as a cooking ingredient and medicine for thousands of years. It can be eaten raw or cooked. It's also available in supplement form, as a capsule or tablet. Red yeast rice. Red yeast rice is a traditional Chinese medicine and cooking ingredient. It's made by culturing red rice with yeast. Warning. None of the information on our videos is a substitute for a diagnosis and treatment by your health professional.